Hi guys and thank you for watching. This video is going to be all about matcha green tea as well as showing you a delicious matcha latte recipe. So there's been a lot of hype around matcha lately and if you've never heard of matcha, matcha is basically a powdered green tea. So it's the green tea leaf that's powdered down and what you get is this beautiful bright green powder. Um, it's usually kept in a sealed jar um, so that the light can't damage it and there's lots of things banded about about matcha powder. Things like it can make you lose weight, it's got 147 times the amount of antioxidants in it than green tea. The honest answer is that there's no magic wand to weight loss. Drinking one cup of this a day will not make you lose weight. What makes you lose weight is eating or consuming fewer calories than what you're burning off. It's not what, it's not what people want to hear. They want to just buy a tub of something that helps them to lose weight. I wish it was that easy. Um, matcha green tea though, it does contain healthy properties. It does contain antioxidants, but not as much as 147 times the amount of antioxidants in a green tea. If you actually look at that study where that information came from, they compared it to a really low grade green tea. And actually, if you compare matcha to uh, the average cup of green tea, it contains around three times more in the way of antioxidants. So it is healthy, but it's perhaps not as healthy as what everyone likes to make out. Matcha green tea, it hasn't been studied that much, so I'm sure in the future we'll know a lot more about it. But the fact is that it does have some potential healthy properties. Um, it's not a magic wand, but it can taste delicious in a latte recipe. So before I knew about matcha lattes, I used to put a teaspoon of this in water and neck it back. I only tried it for a few days because I thought it was so disgusting and if you're anything like me, what you eat and drink, it has to taste good. So, I'm going to talk you through a matcha latte recipe today. There are lots on the internet, so one that I saw that was really good was from Lydia Millen, uh, one from Nutrition Strict. I'll put others down below and basically this is like a combination of them all put together. When you get your matcha powder, so this one is from a company called Teetox, you might get a bamboo stirrer in it, um, which, which looks beautiful. And the idea is that you put half a teaspoon of matcha powder into a bowl, add a drop of boiling water, and then basically whisk it up with this bamboo thing like up and down to make it all frothy. I haven't actually managed to get this bamboo thing to work yet. I'm sure that if I try a few more times it will work, but you can use a spoon or you can use one of these um, milk foamers. So this is very powerful. Oops, <laughs> I just switched the wrong one. This is very powerful. Um, so basically I'm going to add half a teaspoon of matcha powder to this, add some boiling water and give it a, a whisk before the next step. So once the powder is mixed in with the boiling water, you then, optional, can add a dash of cinnamon, which I absolutely love. If you watch my other vid recipe videos, I'm sure you'll realise this. So I'm just going to add a dash of cinnamon and then give it another blend. So the next step to making your matcha latte recipe is to basically heat up a cup full of milk. Now, you can use skimmed milk or I've used almond milk before and it tastes delicious. So once you've warmed up your milk, you then just want to add it to the green matcha tea mix. And what you want to do is leave a tiny little bit of milk in the cup because what we're going to do in a moment is froth it up and pour it on top. So give it a stir and then you want to add your sweetness. So I'm going to use honey and I personally like about a teaspoon of honey. So I'm just going to mix that in there. And then it's for the best bit. So you want to get your milk frother and basically froth up the rest of the milk and you then you're going to spoon it on top. I'm going to pour the frothy milk on top. This looks absolutely amazing. You've got the frothy foam on top, you've got a lovely bright green around the outside. This honestly it tastes delicious. In comparison to having a matcha shot, which tastes revolting, um, it really is out of this world. It's a little cup of goodness. It's not going to make you lose weight in isolation, burn in conjunction with a healthy balanced diet. There is nothing wrong with adding a green matcha latte. 
I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any other questions about matcha green tea or weight loss, then do leave them in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you next week.